this is the O light lamp hour, which is a pretty cool bedside light that O light released now. And I'm trying to triage what feels like an issue with it, but it might be just standard behavior. So the light itself, you've got a uh, white light with varying levels of brightness. And that's just a flick down for white, flick down for off, flick it up for the RGB color and each flick up changes it to different modes and that also goes brighter or dimmer if you just press and hold same down as off so up rgb flicks through the different color palettes you've got heaps of choices <clears throat> the confusing bit is this light on top which is the reading light part of it and that is its own separate torch which is supposed to charge up magnetically and also by any of the other magnetic charges that they use for Olight products. The bit that can, is confusing me is how you turn this on. It doesn't have a switch on the actual light itself. There's no way to turn it on except it has this function uh, where you shake it and that turns the light on and shake it, shake it to turn it off. Except there's a button on the back here, which if you press it while it's not plugged in, does nothing. If you plug the light in, because the light itself has a battery, but it's also USB-C charging. If you plug the lamp in, that light goes on, which shows it's charging. But also now, if I press it, I can turn it on and turn it off. And if I press it apparently and hold it, Yeah. Okay, wacky. If I press it and hold it, that came on, and it came on dimly. Uh, now, press it and turn it off. Now it stays on dim. I don't know whether you can actually see it. Yeah, so there's a dim setting. If I press and hold, yeah, okay, that's uh, slightly brighter. Turn it off, press and hold onto its brightest setting. And if I take it off, that stays on. But there's no way to turn it off with the button on the back. You can shake it and turn it off. Right, so that is interesting behavior. <laughs> um, it also has a pretty cool magnetic, well, sort of magnetic base. Um, it's like a rubber and it does actually work really well to stick. Now, grab this next one. I thought it was actually a fault with the Olight because I, like I couldn't work out how to charge it. Because this, if I put this on the charger, uh, on the other little magnetic chargers you get with Olights, it didn't seem to be charging. And then even on this, it didn't, it didn't seem to be charging, I, and I'm guessing that I that it doesn't charge from the battery in this unit. It actually charges by plugging in the USB-C cable. Now that red light should go on, does it? Yeah. Maybe the red light is not on, yeah, when it's fully charged. So if I flick this thing and play around with it, maybe leave that on for a minute and run the charge down, And then stick it back on. Do I get the red light? <laughs> I don't get the red light. Did I not run it down enough? Well, now I've got the red light on. It's a little confusing. Red light is off, so I assume that's fully charged. So they both actually operate the same way? No, they don't. So, if this isn't plugged in, sorry, I'm sort of thinking this through as we go. If that's not plugged in, I can't turn it on. I'll turn both of those off. No, I can't turn it on at all. Neither unit, so they're both, they're both operating the same. 
can't turn the reading light part of it on with the switch if it's not plugged in, but I can turn it on by shaking it. And then when I plug it in, it stays on, but I can't turn it off with the switch. Unless I plug it in and then I can turn it off. That's a bit peculiar. Anyway, I like other people might have a different experience, but um, let me know if you do, um, because that to me is kind of confusing behavior. But I'm guessing it's normal because both of these operate exactly the same.